Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to grow my channel to be. Okay, so first things first, what are we talking about today? So we are talking about condition, but not just a normal conditioner or even a hair oil, but we are talking about a leave-in treatment sort of spray, which keeps on or supposedly is supposed to keep on nourishing and looking after the hair. Now, I hesitated a little bit when I introduced that because I am not 100% sure or completely won over on this product but however we'll keep that to one side it is from a very very good brand it is from label m the product which we're looking at today is the diamond dust leave-in conditioner spray now this is a product which i actually didn't purchase for myself i bought it for somebody else i bought it as a gift actually for my mum now my mum has really very very long hair i'm um, nearly to her waist which is black so i thought diamond dust she's always trying to look for shine always trying to get that rear mirror finish sort of glass like finish on her hair now you may think why am i then reviewing it because she had a little bit of a couple of issues with it in terms of that she thought that it didn't necessarily give the most shine of what it probably describes it is on the product um, and because of course it's such a prestigious brand i actually tried it for myself because i thought well perhaps it's just sort of like my mum's hair texture or perhaps it's it's not necessarily sort of um, my mum sort of using it perhaps in, in the right way, which it's meant to be. Do you know what I mean? We can all have these sort of issues, but I used it and I had exactly the same thoughts. So I was thinking perhaps my mum's using it a bit too much. Perhaps she's spraying it a bit too heavy, but no, not at all. I have used this several times and I have tried it every which way. And we are going to go through what I think about the product. So let's start, start positive. So product itself by Label M. Label M products are absolutely amazing. And I know this, I haven't reviewed it on my channel, um, but it will certainly be something we will look, we will be looking at in the future. But when I have had my hair cut in Tony and Guy, which is a really top prestigious uh, hairdressing sort of chain, I believe, um, here in the UK, um, it's a fantastic experience every time I have my hair cut in there. It's not very often, very often it's sort of just... Um, every now and again sometimes if i want a little bit more of a different style or if i just want to really treat myself then perhaps i will um book in and i'll have my hair cut in tony and guy but if i do it's usually around the 30 40 maybe 50 pounds sometimes and occasionally if i buy a product as well it can be quite a costly event so it's not very often i go but when i do i have noticed that they all use label m products and i always come out with my hair looking really really cool awesome and well conditioned and well groomed so i thought to myself as a gift i was scrolling through looking for some products from my channel and i came across this product here now they do do a shampoo and a conditioner but i'm really quite pleased in a way that um my mum actually got to try this product first of all so first thoughts and impressions of the product it has a very strong smell when you spray the product of almost like a floral sort of ever so slightly like a hairspray it's not nasty it's not a horrible smell it's quite pleasant but it can be a little bit overbearing now I want to tell a little bit more about it on the product first of all before I go into my thoughts. So it's on the on the on the uh, front of the product here, we've got London Fashion Week official hair care product. So this is Label M Professional Hair Care Diamond Dust Leave-In Conditioner. Luxurious hair perfecting ingredients, including real diamond dust particles, transforms hair's condition and delivers intense radiance so of course you would think that this product would keep on giving that radiance keep on giving that sort of that condition that moisture and that boost and of course a really luxury product especially when it's mentioning real diamond dust as you can see with my mum having really black hair um a very very glamorous lady i bought this product as a gift thinking that it would give an ultimate shine and it would be a really nice gift sort of quite a special thing to actually quite a thoughtful gift um to sort of get along with some other things as well um but I was slightly wrong and we're going to keep that we're going to go into that in just a moment because as I say I, I first of all I thought perhaps it's perhaps it's my mum's hair texture or perhaps it's how my mum's using it I'm sure I may use it I may think it's absolutely amazing or vice versa if a product very often I don't like I'll give it to my mum or, or one of my brothers to use and they might absolutely love it and um, sometimes of course in life it works that way so let's tie a little bit on the back here so label m has been developed for professional stylists by a dynamic international artist team led by tony here goes Mascalo and sasha Mascalo tarbuck forgive me if that's wrong by the way combining hairdressing and formulations expertise 
exclusive micro diamond complex with real black and white diamond pearl dust, champagne and white rose petal oil delivers ultimate nourishment, transforming your hair's condition, leaving it beautifully smooth, silky yet weightless with an intense radiance. Okay, then it's got directions here. So spray on damp or dry hair, comb through to distribute evenly, blow dry or style as usual, reply, uh, reapply as needed. Okay, so there we go. So packaging, let's keep it positive. Packaging, really, really nice, really modern, classy, looks expensive, really sort of premium top looking product, fantastic for sort of gifting you would think. Really, really nice. Price wise, I paid around just over the £20 mark for this. I know now that you can buy this for around the £16 um, up to about £22. I think I paid £22 for it actually. Um, I thought actually for the, uh, for the amount, 120 mils, for it having real diamond dust, black and white diamond dust, champagne, um, all sorts of real top oils, real expensive, lavish product. I thought amazing, perfect for my mum. Then when she used it, the first time she ever used it, I was expecting that sort of jaw-dropping reaction. Um, I was expecting it's absolutely amazing, it's made my hair feel like glass. My mum wasn't like that at all. Straight away she she kept it a little bit reserved and she just said it was really, really nice. And anybody will know when somebody says it's really, really nice, um, but they sort of hesitate on that nice, um, it's not really a product which has blown you away. So. I have to admit, I was really quite disappointed with the shine which it gave on my mum's black hair. She has, very, as I say, very black hair, very, very super long hair, nearly down to her waist. And you would have thought it would be like an absolute frame to see this divine, real amazing sort of shine from this product. No, didn't happen at all. Um, no shine, in fact. I didn't find there was no shine at all. Um, again, I got my mum to try it with a blow dryer. No shine at all again. So then I thought to myself, okay, I thought I'll give it a while, let my mum continue using it. And I seen her in her routine because I live up in the family home. Um, and I noticed when my mum's been styling her hair, she sprayed this through. Um, of course, as a leave in nourishment conditioner, nothing. In fact, it, my mum actually said it made her hair feel a little bit more coarse. So I thought, okay, I thought I'll, I'll wait a little while. I'll let my, I'll let my mum carry on using it. And I thought, and well, I'll give it a try. I've used it a handful of times. And I found actually with my short hair, as you can see, I have got some highlights growing out through my hair. I thought I could do a little bit more nourishment. It's a real sort of lavish brand. It's a real top premium product. I thought, let's give it a go. When I sprayed it in, I wasn't a fan of the smell. I have to admit, I really wasn't a fan of the smell. Um, for me, it's quite overbearing and I don't often say that too much. It's very floral, very sweet and very much like a hairspray product. And actually the smell lingered, which I wasn't a fan of. It did unfortunately make my hair quite almost like greasy to dry off. It took much, much longer for my hair to dry off and I tried it sort of rough drying it with my fingers and then I tried incorporating a brush as well. I've actually tried using it again this morning, which will be my last time of using it actually. Um, and it was really quite not pleasant necessarily to use. When your hair's wet and you spray it in, lovely. It makes it feel really nice and soft and sleek. But my hair's not damaged and I've just had a not so great, you'll see the uh, clip on my channel, haircut where I've had lots off more than what I actually wanted. So my hair's healthy anyway. But you would think that it would give, especially for the cost, especially for the ingredients, you would think that it would give ultimate nourishment. And actually it doesn't. So there was me thinking that my mum, bless her, was perhaps not necessarily using the product right or perhaps she was using far too much or not enough. No. It's just not that great in my opinion and in my mum's opinion as well, to be quite honest with you. Um, really really disappointed because i have used um or i've had used on my hair when i've had my hair cut in uh tony and guy volumizing sort of shampoos and conditioners volumizing products um sort of different protein sprays and things and different uh putties that type of thing when they've started my hair and they've all been absolutely super amazing this no no um i would think for you to have I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I don't know what type of hair this would be great for. I have to admit, if you had super, super dry hair, I'd say yes, because of the oils and things in here, but it actually made my hair feel quite dry afterwards. Shine. I thought I thought it would give me shine. I thought, actually, what's what chance did I stand if on my mum's sort of, very often, um, if she uses certain products, it's like a, like a mirror glass sort of shine um, on black hair, it would be. On mine, I thought, what, what chance did I stand for? But I thought, I'll use it anyway, see how shine sort of adds up. No. 
didn't give me any sort of shine at all, or in fact any conditioner. What it actually made my hair feel was quite knotty, quite sort of um, dried out and quite coarse. And it actually made blow drying the hair off very, very difficult. Um, so it wouldn't be a product I would continue to use. I've used it a handful of times, as I say, just so I can give it a fair review, just so I can sort of cover all grounds of it. Does it look after the hair? I think it must do because of the products and the oils in here. Do you notice it? No, I'm going to be honest, you don't notice it at all. Um, the best thing about it, I'm afraid, is the brand, Label M, and the packaging. Cost wise, I have paid a third of the cost of what I paid for this. Around, I think I paid £22 for this. I paid a third and less for products which I've looked after my hair and I've had a much more better sort of condition and a much more better shine from them. Um, so really, really quite disappointed with this product, I have to admit. Um, and I know for a fact my mum is as well. I thought I was giving an amazing sort of gift sort of treatment spray, leaving conditioner. It says you can spray it throughout the day as well. You can sort of top yourself up with the spray. Well, I've tried that once and let's put it this way. It's almost like spraying a hairspray in. It's not pleasant. So for me, I'd be interested to see who loves this product, who uses this product on a regular basis. And when it says here, London Fashion Week, official hair care product. Yeah, um, not too sure on that, I would have to admit. I'm not sure what type of hair you'd be spraying this in. Perhaps sort of the only thing I can kind of think of is if it was sort of like curly hair and you were spraying it into curly hair of a woman or men's hair in sort of um, leaving it, not sort of having to brush the hair through of it, all that type of thing. But of course, you shouldn't have to you shouldn't have to do that with a product which, number one, for the premium brand, and number two, for the cost. You shouldn't have to sort of think outside the box of how you use the product, should you at all. It should just be easy flow and make your hair feel like soft silk, um, that nourishment, that intense nourishment from the oils and things what's in here. In the diamond dust, you'd think you'd get an incredible shine from it. I'm afraid I didn't see that on my mum's hair, um, and I certainly didn't see that on my hair. Sadly, I feel awful saying that, but... um. Truth. I'm all about truth and honesty. At the end of the day, if I'm going to find a product which is fantastic, then I will shout about it. But exactly the same, if I find a product which is not so great, then I will shout about it as well, unfortunately. But Label M, do not put you off from using Label M at all, because they have some fantastic products and have some fantastic styles done with their products in Tony and Garland. I've had my hair cut and styled before. For me, this would not be one... I mean, give it a try yourself if you're willing to pay that much. Um, but... No, there is just one thing which I wanted to just pick up on here is the ingredients. Um, so I just want to sort of call out some of the ingredients in here, which um, then we can sort of have a chat through as well. So the ingredients in here, we have coconut oil, we have diamond powder, we have wine extract, we have rosa flower oil, we have pearl powder, we have hydrogenized protein, we have other fruit extracts, we have olive extract in here, we have avocado oil in here. Um, and we have a few other fruit oils in here and lots of sciencey sort of ingredients as well. So all the right products are in here. Do you know what I mean? Avocado oil, super, super fantastic for your hair. Coconut oil, fantastic for your hair again. Wine extract, I'm not so sure what champagne extract would do to your hair. Whether or not it is nourishing, I'm not sure. It's really nice to drink, of course. Um, one of my favourite drinks. But in a hair product, not sure. Is that one step too far, possibly? Because, of course, it's got all these great products in here and all these oils in here. But it just leaves the hair feeling it quite almost like cakey, but slightly dry and coarse as well. So for me, it didn't get on with it very well at all. And in fact, actually, when I sprayed it over my uh, my hair, and of course, naturally, it touched the nape of my neck slightly, I got a little bit of an irritation. And is if, if you follow me as a subscriber on my channel, you will always know that I always try to explain to you if a product agitates the nape of my neck or my hairline or, or anything like that, because of course, it's so, so important. Everything what we put on our hair, on our skin, is of course us. Our skin is so, so important to look after. And if you have an agit in it, sort of an irritation or something's agitating you, then I'm afraid the style or the product has gone out the window straight away for me. It has to be comfortable. It has to be healthy. And for me, this actually did agitate the nape of my neck a little bit. And I got a little bit of a red mark all up through my scalp. So I'm not sure what that is, what's in there to cause that either. But for me, on that grounds alone, it wouldn't be something which I would try. As you can see, I have blow dried my hair today. What I've done is I've taken just sort of like a vented sort of oblong brush with a blow dryer in hand and then literally just 
pulled it right back over and um, so it slicked the sides back over as you can see used a little bit of pomade in the sides here um, but before all of that after shampooed and conditioned hair sprayed it all through sort of quite a generous amount do you know what I mean I thought to myself that perhaps my mum's not using enough perhaps she's using too little to get that full effect I've tried it both ways to be honest I've used little amounts and then gone in when the hair's dry doesn't make any difference and I've absolutely saturated my hair with it and it hasn't really made a difference either in fact it just makes it more coarser um, and from a leave-in conditioner that's really counterintuitive and where on earth does that come from? So I've blow dried the hair off today. As I say, I've sprayed quite a bit in. And then what I went for a look today is a little bit of volume on one side. I'm growing out the sides. I've recently had a haircut, which um, the person, the regular person who cuts my hair cut far too much off when it was only meant to be a trim. But I am growing the sides out and the sides are pretty much the same. So as you can see, it is getting longer. And the top, I've gone for a little bit of volume on one side and then swooping off to this side here. Um, Really, really difficult I found blow drying my hair off with this spray. Um, but I like the style what I've got here. It's nice and sleek, nice and sort of off to one side here. You can see sort of the shine on it, but I will put that out there. That is not from this product. That is just from a hairspray sprayed over the top of, this, top of it as well. Now you may think perhaps I've not, um, Perhaps I've not uh, noticed the shine so much because I've sprayed hairspray over the top. I've tried it without using any products at all and just leaving my hair natural and seeing what sort of a shine I have from it. In fact, actually, I find it quite dulling, sadly. But there we go. Um, on the whole, I would certainly use Label M products again. I would certainly recommend you to try them out for yourself. This one, I'm afraid, probably going in the back of the cupboard in a very dark corner um, wouldn't really be something I would use. My mum, in fact, has actually given up on using it now. There's not too much left. I have to admit, there's not too much left of it, um, but it wouldn't be something I would use, unfortunately. Sorry about that. OK, so I really hope you've enjoyed that clip. I certainly have. At the end of the day, honesty is everything when it comes to buying a product. I think very often when you walk into a store now and there are so many products you can choose for your hair, it's great to know which is good, which isn't. So that's what I really love to do. And I really enjoy reviewing products on my channel as well. So thank you very much for your company. And thank you very much for watching. OK, so if you do have any questions, please leave them down below. And I will do my utmost to get back to you as quickly as possible. But once again, thank you very much. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.